forgot to check the math on a few equations. The brain's long gone. Forgetfulness. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. The scavenger hires every gun and knife willing to chop relics out of their owner's hands for pay. Scrapes out any derelict ships his mosquitoes can find. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. He's got a reputation for seeing the gold in things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Left the life of a jacob once behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. As we always say, each member of Constellation is their own conscience. I'll leave the details of the doing to you. Catch a smile out there. Petrov will want to talk to us. We're from Constellation. Got a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces from all over the settled systems for sale. Really? You're willing to sell? I thought you Constellation types only took things. Hey, we all need to make a little side money, am I right? Let us aboard and your boss can have his pick. For the right price. Uh, I think that will be... Acceptable. Giving you permission to talk.
We'll let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? Sounds about right. A lot of spare parts out there. If you don't think too hard about the last guy who had them. Hey, if it's abandoned, it's fair game. Rules of salvage. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Trade it for it. Some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. It's all shakes and muttering. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask, Petrov's the only one with the keys, so don't try bribing any of the crew. You just waste your money. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high-end. Thankfully. Fine. Just ignore me then. Yes, what? Lot of the guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. Lot of sharks, my You meet Vadek yet? The captain's right hand. I've never seen a man so exhausted. There's alien creatures on board the ship. Shh. Captain calls it a zoo. He messes with me one more time. You know, 
If it were up to me, we wouldn't let people on. Ah, I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. And let you pick my vault clean? No thanks. Oh ho, you do have a point. Reverse psychology won't work on me. Just ask poor Vadek. No. No, for once I have to lean on my better judgment. The vault has to stay closed. Talk to Petro. His gloriousness will guide you. Pardon? You know, people say he's mad, but I like Petrov. Runs a good ship. Got work to do. Enjoy your time thing on about board being the cow. cow.
Did you hear there's alien creatures on board the ship? Captain calls it. The mark is mine. Ah, get him! We'll let you on board. Yeah? Look, I... Sounds about right. Hey, if it's abandoned. <laughs> yeah. Trade it for it. Strewn about. And before you ask, Petrov's got a. Fine. Just ignore me then. Between you and me, I'd... Tempting. Oh, -ho, you do have a point. Really? How flattering! I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm still willing to talk! Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look Enjoy at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is painful, but that is the price of security, eh? Huh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a Demo Celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for you weeks! You mean Kodic yet? 
The captain's ah, right of course, there was the I've time I so accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing, devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes. He did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Hey, we're not pirates. Except, well, when we really need something for... Really, really good reasons. Yeah, that does sound a little piratey, doesn't it? I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things, except my collection. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. I don't see any moves we got left here. You just don't understand what's at stake. Ah, I see it now. You're in love with the artifact, just as I am. Oh, a cruel fate brings two people of the same kind together. Go then. Leave my ship with your heart's desire. But the United Colonies will know of your descent into petty piracy. C'est la guerre. Never quite had a friend like you. It's over, right? You're, you're gonna leave?
We'll let you on board. Fine. Just ignore me then. Come in. Come in. 